at Lutheran High School where tonight the Crusaders take on Elkhart Lake Glen Beulah. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Alongside me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris Elkhart comes in one and three. Lutheran is uh, three and one and we happen to see that one loss. We're open for a win tonight. <laughs> but uh, Elkhart lost three starters from last year and uh, they don't have a real strong team. What have you heard about them? Well, Elkhart Lake's the type of uh, program and school that over the last few years is probably the program that's probably been hurt the most by enrollment changes. I mean, their enrollment there is really, really dropping. You get a lot of school choice, get kids that decide maybe to go to Keele, they go to Plymouth and stuff like that. So it's really tough to keep the kids that they have there and then, you know, try to build a program there. You know, just think about youth, you know, try to build his youth, you know, in the younger grades all the way up and all of a sudden the kids decide to go somewhere else. So they get hurt by that and they really struggle out there. Uh, they haven't had a winning program out there for, you know, basically since uh, Mike Kaler was out there and, you know, they try awful hard and, they, and do things, but there's no question they're at the bottom of the league. They are going to start a freshman tonight, Antonio Bett, and then uh, three sophomores and a junior. Uh, so they got a little experience coming back. They do have a uh, couple of returning starters. For uh, Lutheran, uh, they they landed on their feet even though they lost the conference opener to uh, Oostburg. They've been playing better. Yeah, they have, and they're a very good basketball team. I saw that they were ranked number two now in Division Five, uh, which is a nice tribute considering they do have a loss. Uh, they did go on the road and played Cedar Grove last week and took care of business, bounced back. They they played a Living Word squad the other day that was pretty down, but Coach Decker got to play a lot of his players, and you know all these games are going to be better down the line because there's some big tests, especially at the end of the month. So you know the more guys that are getting experience and getting better every week and every game, you know you get. They're young guys like Jers and Zastro more experienced. That's going to benefit when they do play Cuba City and Racine Lutheran. Well, the sophomore uh, Tyler Zastro is starting tonight, and uh, the rest of the group is going to be, uh, well, and Phil Leipom is also a sophomore, so they got a couple of young guys. But uh, it all revolves around Sam Decker, and uh, he's averaging over 30 points a game. I looked, uh, he averaged, I think it was 28 or 29 last year. So, uh, He's a force, obviously. Yeah, he's leading the state in scoring average right now. And uh, and I don't think that's the most important thing for him. The other day I heard he didn't play very much in the second half. He got his points and then started distributing the ball a little bit, getting more people involved. And I think, you know, that's another key factor of this year. We're going to see Luton a bunch of times, Marty. And I think as the team, like I said before, gets more experience and uh, more opportunities to score and do things, they're going to get better. I think one of the things about Sam is... Uh, I'm not going to say it's the strongest part of his game, but it certainly is right up there, and that's his ability to see the floor and uh, distribute the ball, and then it's just a matter of his uh, teammates being able to make baskets. With that, we're going to step out, and we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's ball game. As we recognize the service of America's men and women in uniform, let's also honor the families who sacrifice so much every day. As the service member serves, so does the family. Do you really want to honor a veteran? Look for ways to support their families and thank them for their sacrifices. Go to legion.org slash honor veterans to find out how you can help. Starting lineup for Elkhart Lake, number one, Antonio Bett, number three, Josh Schneider, number four, Blake Lauchs, Number 34, Taylor Cupboard, and number 50, Justin Schneider. For the Crusaders, number 23, Phil Leipum. Number 32, Tyler Zastro, he's also a sophomore. Had a good game against Seussburg. Josh Wheeler, number five. Number 35, senior Nick Redeker. And rounding out the starting five, number one, Sam Decker. Decker, a 6'8 senior. Officials for tonight's game from the Milwaukee area Mike Korn, Ron Jaggert, and Jason Grotsky. Grotsky will uh, do the tossing at center court. Elkhart Lake is coached by Jeremy Harrison and uh, coaching the Crusaders, Todd Decker. Jeremy Harrison played at Plymouth, Marty. 
was a pretty good player and played in college and now has been with the Resorters for a while now. I played in college too, but I'm not a very good player. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Intermural doesn't count. Lutheran controls the tip. Elkhart in a man-to-man -man defense. Laux on uh, Decker looks like a big mismatch. It is. Decker takes him right to the basket and scores easily. I don't know if that's what I'd have set up, but a little tough for him there. Well, they really don't have anybody that's going to match up quite uh, right. A Wheeler with a steal. Takes it right to the basket and lays it up and in. Four to nothing. Well, if Elkar Lake wants to uh, hang around, the one thing they got to do is take care of the basketball, and that was not taking care of the basketball. Nice back cut, but a block. Sam Decker with a block on a shot attempt by Cubbard. Good inside feed. Shot is no good by Redeker. 30-second timeout by uh, Elkhart with uh, 6.58 remaining in the first quarter. Boy, it's an early timeout, Chris. Well, he was on the sideline, and he didn't want to take the out-of-bounds or the travel, so he called a quick timeout. Elkhart Lake got a win the other day. They beat uh, Christian at Christian 53-52. to They opened up against Reedsville, got beat. Hilbert got beat, and Howards got beat. All those games were well over 20 points. Uh, as we said in the opening, Elkhart Lake, eight wins last year, eight and 17. That's one of the best years they've ever had. Um, Better than when you were there? I, uh, I got seven wins, and that was a lot at that time. All right, getting ready to trigger the ball in is uh, Schneider, Josh Schneider, and uh, Blake Lauchs controlling it on top. Elkhart trying to create some penetration, and they do that time. Josh Schneider with the easy basket. One of the Sh Schneider brothers, it looks like. Decker sees the floor well, kicks it out, and good block out by uh, Elkhart Lake. Inside shot is no good. Lightpalm with the rebound. Good effort there. If I'm Elkhart Lake, every time I get an open opportunity, I'm putting her up. Zastro going hard to the basket, puts it up and in. Nice shot that time by Tyler Zastro. He's up to 13 points a game, Marty. Lutheran averaging 81 a game, giving up 63, where the Resorters just scoring 44 a game. Zastro commits that first foul, Chris. First foul of the game. Why not? Oh, a deep three, rims off. Good offensive rebound, though, on a putback by Justin Schneider. Zastro nails another one. The left-hander. Gotta like that part of it. Hubbard kicks it out. Rainbow shot is no good by by Laux. Keep shooting them. Decker from outside the line can't get it to go. And on the rebound is Josh Schneider. You're right, Chris, you know, when you get an opening, if you're Elkhart Lake, you want to take it. <clears throat> and if they can get a little bit like uh, Green Bay East was the other night and hit a bunch of shots, they'll stay in the game. Yep. Well, they've gotten good looks, just not putting them in. Derek Weiss coming in for uh, Josh Snyder. Elkhart Lake just two of six shooting so far. That's why they trail eight to four. Here, 
Ball is kicked on the attempted inbounds. Justin Schneider tossing it in for the resorters. And Zaster with the interception. Dunk attempt is no good. But the effort was nice. <laughs> well, my thought immediately after the miss is don't break your wrist. He came down pretty hard. Josh Wheeler commits his first. It's a second team foul on uh, the Crusaders. At the line is Laux. That would have been a uh, highlight uh, oh, yeah. dunk, oh. I think, for us. We that, have so many. <laughs> that would have been uh, a YouTube entry. Put back is no good. Lutheran getting a couple of attempts, but not able to put it in. Redeker with the last attempt. It's eight to four, Christian. Up, <laughs> Christian. Lutheran on top. A good move to the basket by uh, Cupboard, but he couldn't get the shot to go. Light palm right down Main Street, kicks it out. Oh, I think, did he get away with a walk that time? Could have, maybe. Couldn't see his feet. Decker with a nice move to the baseline side, lays it up and in. 10 to four. Lutheran on top. Under four minutes remaining in the first quarter. Steve Reiner running the camera on top. We're a one camera operation. I heard the tuck is done being wrapped, Chris. Oh, nice drive by Lauks, puts it up and in. Trying to make up for those two missed free throws he had. Shot attempt by Wheeler is no good. 10 to six. Five of 12 shooting for Lutheran early. Yeah, they haven't been shooting very good either for that matter. Lauchs' shot is off. Like him and going to the basket, though. <laughs> Zastro tripped. Gotta call it. Yep. Lauchs on the foul. Gotta call it. It's one of those excuse me fouls. I know Lauchs is upset, but what are you gonna do? Justin, Josh Schneider coming in for uh, Elkhart and checking in for uh, the Crusaders is Jacob Juris. He had a nice game in that Oosburg contest also nailing a couple of threes. Three of them, I think. Yeah, and that's nice to have. Nice pass. Oh, nice Redeker with an easy two. You gotta have somebody off the bench and I think Coach Decker is counting on Jacob Juris, the freshman, to do that job. Another 30 second timeout by the Crus by the Resorters. They're hanging in there, Chris. Although now it's 12 to six. I thought you nailed a good point about not turning the ball over and getting shots. Yep. Hey, that was a class act by Blake Lux there. Kind of threw the ball back to the official and he walked right over to him and say, hey, sorry about that. I mean, when they called timeout there. Right. I know he's still upset about that uh, foul, but yeah, that's one of those fouls uh, you just got to call. Well, and it's you know, just one of those things and kind of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, you didn't buy me a soda, but I still got a water. Thanks no, much, I Marty. I on my brother-in-law, Jimmy Rush, to bring us over some free waters. Okay. Well, I don't know if they were free, but what I didn't pay for them. <laughs> he owes me one. At least. Laux uh, is going to get fouled by Decker. That's uh, Sam Decker's first foul. Third team foul on uh, Lutheran. Laux goes right around Decker but couldn't get the layup attempt in. And they knock it out. Well, I guess we have a plan. Blake Laux is going to take it to the rack and hopefully draw something. It'd be nice if he could finish or get those fouls. Hey. 
And Zastro bringing it up. Being pressured by Weiss. Sam Decker right to the basket, puts it up and in. Lauks wanted an offensive call on that. High riser on the jump shot is no good. And then Zastro is fouled. Uh, pardon me, Lipom is fouled. Committing the foul was a bet. Fourteen to six. Lutheran on top. Lauks one of six so far. Lauks with a nice steal. Good quick hands, lays it up and in. Decker, and then they get a blocking foul call. He wanted to dish it off to a teammate underneath the basket. It looked like maybe it was Juris, but uh, Justin Schneider picking up the foul. Lipom tossing it in. Lucky. Yeah, very lucky. Good defense by the resorters. That's a very good pass. Lipom taking it to the rack, couldn't get it in. Lauks with the rebound. Outside jumper is no good by Bet. Disaster with the rebound. Lutheran had a bust out, but it was tipped from behind, and Laux has it now. Inside shot is blocked. Second block by Decker. He's going home. Look out underneath. 16 to eight. Zastro says look out below and then he just lays it up and in. Just like that, it's 18 to eight, under a minute left. Yeah, they've uh, made hay here. They've, uh, they're on an eight two run over the last couple of minutes. Schneider being pressured and it makes a lousy pass. Light palm. Foul and he makes the layup and he looks like he could be hurt. My palm's up. He's uh, looks like he's gonna be okay. Ben Leipom coming in, five Decker coming out. I was just going to say, five turnovers on Elkhart Lake, and it's really gotten sloppy here at the end. This last pass was very bad. That wasn't good basketball at all. Leipom trying to finish off the uh, three-point play. Phil's free throw rims off. It's 20 to eight. 25 seconds remaining in the quarter. A runner is no good by Covered. Tyler Zastro, nice crossover dribble, couldn't get the layup in. That shot is no good by Covered, but he is fouled. Juris is going to pick it up. Fourth team foul on Lutheran. Chris, the free throw shooting has not been very stellar here tonight. We're 0 for 4. Uh, just pretty sloppy in general. <clears throat> Ooh. Woefully short. Juris on the run. Can't get it in, and that's the quarter. At the end of one quarter of play.
Lutheran on top, 20 to eight. This was a scary moment for Elliot Stabler and everyone at Richard Petty Motorsports. Thankfully, the folks at NASCAR have taken every precaution to ensure the safety of our drivers. And I hope you do the same thing when you get in your car. The Department of Transportation says that taxi drivers are four times more likely to be in a serious accident. Buckle up, watch the road, and please do not text and drive. It could be the last text you ever sent. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. What do you got for stats there, Chris? <clears throat> I'm adding them up, and I got uh, Lutheran is 10 of 20, Marty. They got just two turnovers, though, which is good. 0 for 3 from outside. Elkhart Lake struggling from the floor. I got him 4 of 15, Marty. You, not good. Just over 25%. The other thing, uh, I don't know what you got for turnovers for them, but it seems like uh, whenever they turn it over, it turns into a layup for uh, Luther, and I think that's part of the reason for the good shooting percentage. Yeah, good point, Marty. Because you had them, I think, 5 for 12 early on. All of a sudden, they went yep. for some layups. Redeker, easy basket there. Off a nice pass. Yeah, they have five Light turnovers. Bomb. And you're, I, that was a good point, Marty. Seems like every time a turnover, Luther is converting that into points. We're at a 12-2 run right now since about the uh, two-minute mark or three-minute mark of the first uh, quarter. Lutheran has really been rolling. Sadiq with a pass inside, but the shot is no good. Schneider trying to come away with it, but he stepped out of bounds. And Lutheran will get it. It's 22-8. Elkhart staying in the man-to-man -man defense. Lipom looked like he was open in the lane, dishes it out to uh, Zastro, and his uh, three attempt is no good. All for four from out there, Marty. Lutheran, that is. Schneider got good position inside, but Lauk's, uh Threw it away from the defense, but a little too far and turned it over. Yes. Now those kind of turnovers are, I mean, all turnovers are bad, but at least you're not giving them a layup attempt. Seventh one. Ooh. Yeah, you just watch Elkhart Lake and their defensive stance and things like that. It's not a varsity quality. I mean, they're not in position. I mean, some of the guys like Lauks is doing it, but watch some of them. They're just standing straight up, play defense when they feel like it, but not all the time. Redeker missed it, but uh, Decker taps it in. 24 to eight. 10 points for Sam. Five for seven from the floor. Oh, good um, hands that time by Zastro. Eighth turnover. Redeker breaking hard to the basket. Decker hit him, but he couldn't catch the ball. Blake Lauks taking his first uh, break of the ball game. Antonio Bett came in for him. Sadiq, shot is no good. Decker spotted Lipom, but uh, the ball got kicked away. Not getting any better for Elkhart. Four of 17 with eight turnovers. Oh, we. It's gonna hurt. Wheeler coming down through the lane, put it up and in, nice pass. That just should never happen either. 26 to eight. There's a three, that one's good. Derek Weiss, our first three of the game. Ball is going to be committed by uh, Lipom. It's 
Sastro three of six from the floor. They had a three-point basket by Weiss, broke a uh, ten-point run for uh, the Crusaders. Had ten points in a row. Well, they've had a couple runs, Marty. Well, if I took the whole thing yeah. here, there was 10, 10 to 2, 16 to 2, 16 to 5 with that 3, so it was up wow. to 16 to 2. Lauk's good quickness off the glass and in. Boy, he's a good player. 26 to 13. Hess in the ball game for the Crusaders. That's loading it up. No oh, good. Lipom down the lane, put it up and in. Nice shot by Phil Lipom. I like that move to the basket too. You know he can. He did that from the other side too. That's the correct call. Yeah, and I was going to say that's again that uh, Blake Lauchs was able to get through the Lutheran defense to the basket. And uh, they need to tighten that up a little bit. Another timeout by Elkhart Lakeland Beulah with the 424 remaining. El uh, Lutheran on top, 28 to 13. And they've used three timeouts, and they got two left. And they're all fulls. I suppose when you're down by 15, doesn't matter even why you save them now, because if you're down by 30. That's my thinking. Yeah. Next week, uh, December 13th, we'll be at uh, South. We're going to see Green Bay East again, Chris. And uh, that's a product of that goofy <laughs> schedule by the Fox River Classic Conference. And then uh, the big one. Next sun, next Saturday, when uh, South travels over to uh, North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. Boy, we haven't said that much this year. No. But uh, early. It's only December. Yeah, it's only December. Wow. Hey, you coming to basketball on Friday? Yes, sir. That's tomorrow, right? Yeah. I forgot I have my own little system of stats for uh, Sam Decker. I think him and Johnny Decker are the only ones I've ever kept lines per quarter. Oh, really? there's so many. <laughs> yeah. well, you could have done that for Nolan Free, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He could light it up. Yeah, he shot a lot. Whoa, almost touched the line. Uh, I think Twice. he did. Yeah. Ruffy said, I'll call it next quarter. Oh, Schneider. Missed everything. Becker with 10 points so far. How many assists you got for him? I think I thought he I had don't at least track of assists. Sorry. Okay, coach. I thought he had two. Yeah, so I think far. you're right. A bad pass. Lokes on the steal. He'll take it right to the basket, and he gets it in, and he's fouled. Be nice to have someone step up and take a charge there or get in a position yeah. to even look like a charge. It's okay if you foul, but to just stand there sideways, let them slide by and bump them for an easy basket, it's not, not getting it done. Not acceptable. Redeker not able to get the free throw in. It's you mean Lauchs? 20, Lauchs, 28 to 15. Wheeler, bango. First three for Lutheran tonight. 31-15. Ooh, strong rebound inside, and a putback is up and in by Justin Schneider. That was impressive. Wheeler committing the foul. One, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth free throw by Elkhart Lake. They haven't made one yet. Lutheran is 0 for 1. We haven't saw a made free throw yet, Chris. Maybe you jinxed them into making one. 
No. I am good for nothing. Light palm. Kicks it out. Juris. Rainbow shot is no good. Good rebound, though, by uh, Cupboard. Lokes. On a travel. That was a good call. Luther on top, 31-17. Rolling down to the three minute mark until halftime. Elkhart remains in the man-to-man -man defense. Decker going hard, push off, no call. Put back by Redeker is no good. And Schneider comes away with the rebound. Laux puts his head down, drives to the basket and scores. Light pump from outside the line can't get it to go. Good pass inside to Redeker for an easy two. 33-19, Lutheran on top. Weiss, no good. Decker high above the rim for the rebound. To the basket, and he scores and he's fouled. Decker with 12 points, looking for number 13, and we're looking for the first made free throw. Foul goes on Derek Weiss. Hey, we did it. 36-19. Nice catch by Schneider and he puts it up and in. Lauks on the assist. Ball is tapped away. Good job by Elkhart Lake, good hustle. Oh, nice no-look pass by Lauks. Easy basket for uh, Cupboard. This is uh, stacking up to be not such a good finish to the first half, Chris. Decker has it knocked away. Lauks pass over to Bett and he's got an easy basket. 36-25, minute 20. Juris, rainbow three is in. Stop that run. That was a big one. 110 remaining. It's 39 to 25, Lutheran on top. But Elkhart uh, fighting back. Shot is up and in by Bet. It was a three. Justin, pardon me, Josh Snyder on the foul. Not second fighter on, second foul on Schneider. 55 seconds and counting. Double team action, Redeker cuts down the lane, had an easy layup and couldn't put it in. We got a bust out for the resorters. Hubbard. Decker. <laughs> 41 to 30, 20 seconds remaining. Schneider looking, 
Couldn't find anybody, kicks it out. Sadiq had a pretty good look, but uh, missed it. Decker at the buzzer, couldn't get it in. And we're at halftime here at uh, Lutheran High School with the Crusaders on top, 41 to 30. Savings man here with a story for you about two young spenders named Tommy and Sue. Their parents let them buy whatever they chose, like video games and designer clothes. As they grew older, they spent all their pay on fancy cars, houses, two lattes a day. They lived in the moment, never saving a dime. When they tried to retire, they'd run out of time. Working forever is Tom and Sue's fate, so choose to save now before it's too late. Visit our website to find out more, because a happy ending's worth saving for. Getting ready to start the second half. Some halftime scoring will start off with uh, Sheboygan Lutheran. They were led by uh, UW recruit Sam Decker with 15 points. Jacob Juris had three. Josh Wheeler, seven. Phil Leipom, four. Tyler Zastro, six. And Nick Redeker, six. For the Resorters, Antonio Bett had five. Josh Snyder had two. Blake Laux had a great first half, scored 10. Derek. Weiss had three, Taylor Cupboard had four, and Justin Schneider had uh, six. Nobody in real foul trouble. Uh, Chris, you have some uh, halftime shooting percentages? Yeah, how about uh, 19 of 39 shooting for Sheboygan Lutheran. Uh, just one of nine from three though, Marty. And uh, Elkhart Lake, who at one time was shooting 30%, six for 20, hit eight of their last 11 to uh, finish out at 14 for 31. Makes a difference when you don't turn the ball over and put the ball in the hole. Uh, you can kind of stay with Sheboygan and Lutheran, but uh, that's about the only chance I think Elkhart Lake has. They're gonna have to shoot they did out, 75%. They did outscore uh, the Crusaders 22 to 21 in that quarter. So even though they outscored them, they're still gonna have to play a little better defense. And I thought uh, your point about the defensive stance really makes uh, yeah, well, a I good thought, point. I, I didn't, I'm didn't. i sure Coach Decker doesn't like, too, the fact that Elkhart Lake is just getting to the rack. I mean, where is the defense? You gotta stay in front of those guys. Don't let them drive to the basket. Elkhart Lake's gonna start with it down by 11 here in the third. Lauk's crossover dribble, high riser on the jump shot, put it up and in. He's still shooting them well. Yeah, he's... Uh, 50%, six for 12, 12, shooting. Yeah, 12 points now, too. Decker, leaner, no good. Oh and my. I think they're gonna get him for an over the back fall. Wow. That'll be his <laughs> second. Wow, I'm not so sure about that one. Oop, they called it on Redeker. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't see what he was doing because I was watching the other battle. Lauks has it again. It's 41 to 32. Turnaround jumper in the lane is no good. Zastro with the rebound. Getting a good look was Taylor Cupboard. Decker fouled on the way to the basket. Couldn't get the shot in, but uh, he will go to the line to shoot a pair. Cupboard's one of those guys that struggled early on. Marty was 0 for his first five. Made his last two, but uh, missed that one. So he's just three of eight. Covered for the uh, resorters, that is. Becker puts in the first free throw for uh, Josh Snyder. That was his third foul. And picking up that third foul early in the half is not a good thing for the resorters. 43 32, Lauks. He's quick. He is very quick. Got to get your hands off there. Again, defensive stance for Lutheran. Forty-three, thirty-two, seven minutes in the third. Hubbard gets it over to Schneider, who goes hard to the basket. His shot was blocked. Zastro, it looked like it went off of his leg, but they're giving it to Lutheran. Steve Reiner up on top, running the camera for us tonight. Color man is Chris Wright, and play-by-play -play guy is me, Mike Martin. Decker's shot from the corner is no good. 
and it goes out of bounds. Maybe he's saving all his threes for the state tournament. Yeah, it's just thinking, yeah. He hasn't had a big run of the two games that we've seen him play. I'm thinking about going down to Mequon, I think, when they play at the end of the month. See him play Cuba City. Maybe he'll get hot there. Cuba City's big. It'll be a challenge. You know, we point this out every time we come over here is that it can't be just Sam Decker. And you mentioned it in the opening. They got to have other kids step up. Not necessarily step up, just be out there playing well. Ooh. Decker picks up his uh, second foul. That was not a good one. Redeker with the board and a kick out. Oh, that's a bad call. He just stood there. Laux just stood there. For Laux, that's his second personal. Oh, Decker with a miss. I don't think he did anything. I think he got out of the way, if anything. He oh. just let him go. That was a move. Wow. Zastro with the foul. Decker now has 19 points, Chris. Yeah, I thought uh, that last dunk by Decker that uh, Blake Lauchs just uh, let him go. <laughs> just a classy move of him. Did he get a foul? That'll learn him. Well, he knows the game. Don't want to get Sam hurt. Oh, Lauchs. They gave Lauchs the ball when somebody was checking in and he made it and then when they had, did a redo, he uh, couldn't make it. He does have 14 points. And it's 45-34. Uh, that one, they gotta get him. Yep, did the flopper, but uh, they're gonna get him anyway. That could be his fourth, it is. Third personal. Nice pass in by Leipom and Decker gets an easy two. He has 21. Decker on the steal, look out below. That's high percentage, Marty. Very high, although he did miss one tonight. Time out, Elkhart Lake. It's their fourth. They may not have one left for the last quarter. They do only have one left. I know. Well, I don't think I keep Lauks out very long. Got three fouls. Yeah. Can't let it get away. <laughs> what do you mean it's already away? <laughs> You're right. Hey, they're battling out there. That second yeah. quarter uh, was impressive. They had uh, Lutheran on the ropes there for a little bit. Yeah, and they, uh, you know, they got to shoot better and make them. And they're doing all right. Two of five and a quarter. It's an 8 2 run the last uh, couple minutes. Five twenty-five remaining in the third quarter. It's uh, Lutheran on top, forty-nine thirty-four, and uh, Sam has been Sam. Twenty-three points. Jeremy Harrison giving the official a little bit of an earful. Got some. Uh, Charging falls on Sam Decker. Nice lead, Lipom, reverse layup no good. Redeker, got it. 
I think Sam was just letting him take the rebound. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Go ahead, Nick. You can have a couple points. Decker with a block. Uh, pardon me, Redeker with a block. And Lightpalm with the steal. Lays it up and in. Oh, no. How can you get a charge? You hardly touch the guy. Phil Lightpalm picks up the... Uh, Ball. Tough. Tough. Yep. Tough. A little gamesmanship between the coaches. Can't hear that. I lost the ball on the way up. Cupboard did and uh, tried to tap it in actually and uh, couldn't get it to go. Bet picks up the foul. Turnover on Luther, and I think uh, somebody stepped out of bounds. Sam, I guess. Fifty-one thirty-four. Elkhart's hit a bit of a drought. Logs trying to work on Decker, but couldn't get uh, get around him. Inside feed to Schneider, and then he's fouled. Lightpalm picks up another fall. That's his fourth. And if I uh, remember correctly, in that Usberg game, he fouled out too. I think you are correct, sir. We could pull out the file. I've got it here. <laughs> Justin Schneider looking to make a free throw. Elkhart Lake is looking to make a free throw, Chris. Six, seven, eight, 0 for eight. They're shooting free throw number nine. And they can't get that to go. Wow. That is unbelievable. Redeker rims off. Now that's a second bunny that he's missed tonight, Chris. You gotta make those. That's yes, with the good defense. And then they call him for a foul. <laughs> <laughs> it was the bet taking him to the baseline. I thought Tess did a great job of cutting him off. And then he spun around. But it does give Elkhart an opportunity to uh, finally make a free throw. Well, we're in a bonus with uh, four minutes in the third. Not going anywhere for a while. There's going to be some free throws. Hey, one of ten. What is their free throw percentage now? <laughs> Let me figure this out. Let me see if anyone in the stands can get me a calculator. One, oh, one, one. No. Oh, no. Oh, 091. One of 11. What's that? Oh, 091, right? Decker with a nice pass. That one, Redeker got in. Redeker, six for 11 from the floor. 53-35. Outside shot by Bat is good. Three-pointer. Three 53-38. Lauks playing the tight D. Wheeler nails it from the corner. 56-38. Fifty six thirty eight Lutheran up by eighteen with three minutes left in the third. Chris hoping we don't get too many fouls because it's uh, bonus time for the resorters. Taking it to the hoop was covered, but he uh, traveled. Thought it was a nice move actually. I did too. I want to call the travel there. I thought there was actually a bump that time. Yeah. Yeah, so did I. 
Oh, nice steal by Cupboard. One on one with Juris. He puts it over the rim for two. 56-40. We're gonna get Decker with an offensive foul, trying to do a little too much. And standing in and taking the charge was Justin Schneider. Decker's third. Todd, his dad, is gonna leave him in for right now. There's 225 remaining in the third. Lutheran up 16. Nice pass by Cupboard. Schneider misses the bunny. And Lauks playing the tight D. Eight rebounds for Redeker tonight. Not this time you ain't gonna get a charge. And Decker sliding to the hoop, put it up and in, and he gets fouled. Although, that could have been disastrous had they called it the other way. For Justin Schneider, that's his second foul, and the fifth team foul on the Resorters. Decker completes the three-point play. He has 26 points. Weiss couldn't get it in. Oh, Decker almost put it in. Couldn't grab the rebound. That would have been interesting. Great hustle that time by Josh Snyder to uh, tip it away from Juris, who was wide open. 142 remaining in the quarter. Juris with a rainbow, couldn't get it in. Decker, nice pass to Redeker for an easy two. 58 to 40. I like that inside out too. 61, pardon me. By Decker, got it inside, kicked it back by Jerst. Jerst didn't make it, but that's the kind of stuff you gotta give him those chances to make them. There's a good, nice pass by Elkhart. Covered to Schneider for two. Sixty-one forty-two. nice steal by Bett. Minute left in the third. Decker. I think we're getting a flush, we do. Sixty-three forty-two, Lutheran by twenty-one. That's one of those turnovers that leads to a layup. Those aren't good. Redeker tips it away from Schneider. Good frontal defense there by Redeker as well. I have nine rebounds for Sam tonight. What'd you say, is about 29 points? You know, he's uh, got several assists too. Oh yeah. Laux pushes it in and nails a fadeaway. Shot by Blake Laux. Eight of 15 shooting for him. Wheeler, a little bit short, over the back. Committing the foul was uh, Cody Fintelman. And let's walk down to the other end and shoot some free throws. Justin Schneider will be at the line. Think of it this way, Chris, if he misses this one, they're only gonna shoot one. Decker coming in with 20.7 seconds remaining. I don't know if I like this move. Get the rebound. I wasn't thinking that. I'm thinking pick up his fourth fall. Nah, he's, they're gonna be on offense. They're gonna be on offense, and uh, that's so he's got several of his falls. Sixty-three forty-five. Lutheran up by 18. Schneider couldn't get it in. Decker with his 10th rebound, right, Chris? Correct, sir. Yep. 
Under 10 seconds. Decker fade away. Oh, couldn't get it in. Sam wanted a foul, no call. Everything looked cool to me. At the end of three quarters of play, Lutheran on top, 63 to 45. From Maine to Maui, thousands of high school students across the country are getting in on the action by volunteering in their communities. Action teams of high school students are joining Volunteers of America and Major League Baseball players to help train and inspire the next generation of volunteers. It's easy to start an action team at your school so you too can get in on the action. Are you in? Get in on the action at actionteam.org. Keeping track of the quarter scores, Elkhart Lake by quarters, eight in the first, 22 in the second, 15 in this uh, third quarter. Sheboygan Lutheran very consistent throughout the quarters with 20, 21, and 22. They need to get 23 in the fourth quarter to uh, keep <laughs> the uh, pattern going. There was an article in today's press by uh, Jared Re Renzelman regarding Decker breaking uh, Mike Kaler's record for uh, county scoring. Kaler, of course, playing at uh, Elkhart Lake had 2,685. And uh, Sam would need to average well over 40 points to uh, top that mark. Another good pass, but the shot missed by Ben Leipom. Lauchs kicks it over to Cupboard, whose shot is no good. Schneider is fouled by Leipom. It'll be his first. Blake Lauchs has 16 points through three quarters. Nine points now for Schneider. It's 63-47. Weiss with a little pressure on Zastro. Good swings. Yeah, good ball movement by the Crusaders. Ball kicked out of bounds. Hard to do much when you're stuck down on the baseline in the corner, sort of. Just not enough spacing. Lutheran uh, shooting 28 of 55. Wheeler. Couldn't get it in. 56. <laughs> Oops. Cupboard, hard to the basket, couldn't get it in. Schneider forces it up and he's fouled again. Schneider's got five rebounds, number 50. Jurse on the foul, Schneider going to the line again. And it's double bonus time. Oops, a glancing blow. <laughs> they are not good at the line. <laughs> Tell you what, they make uh, all their free throws, they'd be about even. This will be the 17th free throw of the night. And they've got, have made what, two? Uh, could be. Five, four actually. Four of 17. Zastro's shot in the lane is no good and then we get a foul. 
or a whistle. Timeout by Lutheran, full timeout. Take care of a little business. Our next uh, basketball game will be on Tuesday, December 13th, when Green Bay East comes to town to play south at uh, the south side of Cutie Fieldhouse. And then on the 17th, Saturday, big day of basketball all day from morning till night. We'll be over at uh, North High School's Acuity Field House to uh, cover the girls game. Girls varsity at six, followed by the boys, boys varsity. Live? I don't know. I would not plan on that. We hope it is. The truck is done. The uh, cords are not in for the uh, cameras. Hopefully they'll be in by then. We've got a few days. If at all possible, we will go live. I give kudos out to uh, Scott Mailoff because these games are taken back to the studio and then he goes over them and adds uh, some graphics to it and uh, uh, some replays on occasion. Yeah, I've uh, I watched some of our games. How are we doing, you and I? The games are good. <laughs> <laughs> Announcing could be improved. Decker looking to get a three point play and does. 66 47. Sam's 13 of 20 from the floor, Marty. 31 points. Ooh, a little rainbow was short. And then Zastro, how could you grab the guy's arm and then look at the official like, what do you mean I fouled him? Holy cow. Antonio Bett. He chucking up a couple of free throws. Alcar Lake, 42% from the floor. Hey, they made a free throw though. Might get up to 25% from the line before this is said and done. Oop. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Number 11 rebound for Sam. Yeah, get up. Get a whistle underneath the basket. I believe it's a fall on Elkhart Lake. Falls on bet. Zastro will be shooting. All right, Chris, just what you wanted. Both teams shooting free throws now. Too and much. there's still 621 left in the game. Too much talking by the uh, players to the officials. I agree. That started in the first half. Yep. Hey, you know, it's okay to every once in a while, but you don't need to have a novel Disgust. 68-48. Lauk's blowing by Sam Decker, and he commits his fourth foul. Uh, I'm impressed by Lauk's. I think he's a good player. He's one of those talkers. But he is a good player. He'll probably be a second team all conference player. He could take our job. He talks so much. Gotta shoot free throws better. Just him? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you picking on him all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, that's just a bad pass. Hubbard was on the line. Ooh, I, he can get up there, Chris. You know, if that was a maybe a volleyball, he could dunk it. Covered three of 13 from the floor. That was his first turnover. That was a hustle turnover. Yep. That's a bump. Schneider. But a lump, but that's a his fourth fall. Schneider. Schneider. 
Sam Decker at the line, shooting one and one. Seventy to forty nine, twenty one point lead. Zone defense by uh, the Crusaders. First time we've seen that tonight. Well, a good decision by Lauks to set things up. Tried to do something, but that was fortunately got picked away. But not a bad idea. Redeker put back is no good. Wheeler missed the first shot. Juris on a follow puts it in. 72-49. And the Resorters use their last time out of the ball game. Can't take it on the bus with you. Nope. 525 left in the ball game. Tell you what, Lutheran's gonna get to their average. They've been averaging 81 points a game, giving up 63. And uh, so they, they are gonna get to their 80. I would be shocked if they don't. And this uh, last quarter is taking forever. 33 points for Sam Decker. Uh, what's he, what did I say, 35 is he averaging? That's what I saw in the paper. So he's a little below his average right now. Number one in the state, I did see that. Um, other teams in the area that are ranked, Howard's Grove, they're in Division Four. they're ranked 14th. North moved up a spot too. Uh, yeah, they're ninth. Oh no. I thought they were eighth this, this morning. Oh, I saw I saw nine. Okay, you're and, probably uh, right. I did look up their uh, opponents so far. They're four zero. Their opponents are three and twelve that they play. Oops. Their RPS is not too good then. Yeah, uh, Falls. I uh, Sheboygan Falls also ranked. Coach Eric Spielman's squad is undefeated, as uh, they are ranked 14th in Division Three. Oostburg is ranked 11th. Lutheran, we've already mentioned, they're ranked number two in Division Five. Ooh, takedown. Decker had his head up by the rim that time. Now he's got 35. And Hard to uh, beat that double team like that. Better off maybe to pass out of it. It doesn't hurt as much either. I'd get Sam out of the game. I wouldn't let him out there very much longer. 74-49, it's a 25 point lead now by the Crusaders. Go a little zone. I don't like the, well, hey, uh, looks like it's a 2-3. I, I don't like him being out so deep. I've always said that. Bet wanted to take the shot, but not with Decker there. Weiss's shot attempt is no good. And Schneider couldn't control it. Ben Lightpalm trying to get the Rio, and you got to get that one, Ben. Got to be strong. No, they got, they got Ben listed at 6'4". I don't think he's quite that tall, but uh, he's a junior. 4.50 left. Okay, Lokes and Decker have gotten to know each other quite well here tonight. Yep. Juris had the wide open look from three but didn't take it. Good look inside. Oh, man. Missing a lot of easy shots. Tonight it's not gonna hurt them, Chris, but uh, in a close game, those are killers. Can you say Oosberg? Jurist to the line, shooting a couple. I'd count up the number of free throws shot, but that's no fun. Seventy-five, forty-nine.
Got him 11 out of 13, Chris. 76-49 now. Whoop. Bet. That was a nice jump shot. Silky smooth on that one. Yeah, Breaks the Lutheran run, too. Four of six shooting. And that's going to be all for Justin Schneider. Schneids. Picked up three in the fourth quarter, Chris. Coming in is Tom Pritzel. Eight free throws in a row for Crusaders. <laughs> oh, Martin. <laughs> yeah, long year at Elkhart Lake. Hey, it's a good thing TV8 isn't located out there. Decker's got an easy double-double. Yeah, I would say you so. You know, a couple made bunnies off of his passes. He could be a, close to a triple-double. I got him for 13 rebounds. and Yeah, he's got to have about seven, eight assists at least. Pass the ball. Too much dribbling. Matt Gum in the game, number four. The Gumpster. Folks, over to Pritzel. His shot is no good. Decker with his 14th rebound. I hope he Gum gets out open. of the game soon, Marty. He pops it. Catch and shoot by Gum. Nice play. I like that. Lauks, he take it on anybody. Juris tips it out. Nice pass to Gum. Couldn't get the layup. Another possible assist. 2.30 left in the ball game. Lutheran up 77-51. Blake Lauks, another short shot, no good. Put it in. The Gumster, no good. Another putback, no good. That shot was by Fintelman. Fintelman again, no good. There go the shooting percentages. Right down the toilet. Pritzel, Luke, and Tobenheim all coming in. Decker takes a seat. In for him is uh, Phil Lightpalm. Well, Sam, I got 15 rebounds for him. And I got him for 35 points. I think he earned dinner tonight. Take him to McDonald's. Pritzel's shot is no good. Yeah, I like these guys coming in and shooting, Marty. I never met a shot I didn't like. Sadiq in the game, number 25. Minute and a half. Ooh, gum was open for a minute. 77 51. Whoopa. Ooh, light palm went through his hands, but he was able to save it and throw it off a resorter, Ty Tobenheim. Come on a cut through lane, and then Tob and I, uh, pardon me, Fintelman was wide open and couldn't catch the ball. He had the basket before he had the ball. That was the problem there. Seems like it's getting a little sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Good hustle. Gum with the gets the loose ball. Woo. Sadiq with the foul. Jake. It's a basket. A free throw, pardon me. That rebound was captured by Lucas Pritzel. Gum, good hands. Jers comes up with the help. That was the right play. Got to catch the ball, though, Mr. Gum. Jers has eight points in the ball game. Under a minute. Rolling down to the 35 second mark. Let's have one more foul. Falls on Gum. He is officially in the book now. Any way to get in, Chris. Any way. I remember when John Schumann brought his scorebooks from the North-South games when he did that armory show years ago. The only way you knew I was in the game was because I committed a foul. I had my worst games in the armory. Throw the ball! Can he make that layup? Yes! Come with the assist. Lipom with the basket. 80-52. I said they're going to get to their average. They're not going to get there. Well, maybe. I shouldn't say never. But whoop uh, They could. It's average is 81. They're at 80. Really? 81 is their average? 13 seconds left. They better dribble it out. If they were listening to us, they'd quick get a shot in. Shoot it, Gum. Get in there. Oh. Well, now look at Gum. Look at Gum out here at half court. He never played any defense. <laughs> Karai. Well, that's the end of the game. Luther and a winner, 80 to 52. I know Chris has got tons of commentary before we sign off, so why don't you hurry up? <laughs> well, Luther just took care of business tonight. A lot of turnovers and missed shots early for Elkhart Lake, and they got dug themselves deep and behind, never just could get over the hump. And uh, like I said, Lutheran got better as they went again. Nice job by Sam Decker being unselfish. Are you done finally? I'm done. Okay. With that, uh, we want to thank Steve Reiner for uh, setting up the equipment and getting us through this ball game. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody. Our next ball game will be on Tuesday when we travel over to Salt to watch them play East. With that, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you down the road.